controls it, gives it to Babbitt. And we're underway in overtime here in Reno. I would give the edge to Utah State as far as the mental advantage because they came back and tied it up when Nevada was controlling the game most of the time and played well enough to win. Now they've got to do it in the extra session. Armand Johnson rises up for a shot, can't hit it. Quail with a rebound. Here come the Aggies. There's no surprises on what each team is running. They keep the floor spread and watch Wesley. Wesley has a match mismatch down low. They missed that. Brandon Fields now guarding Wesley and Luke Babbitt on Quail. This is Newbold. Couldn't hit the one to win it, but he hits that one. A beautiful three-pointer. Just like that, Utah State on top by three as we approach the four-minute mark to play here in overtime. Utah State is at risk a little more when they have to play from behind. If they're playing with a lead, they're comfortable. Pass intercepted by Jared Quayle looking forward. Had Williams decided not, holds up. Pass is deflected. Quayle goes to the ground, no foul called, and back come Nevada. Here comes Babbitt driving the baseline. Hunt with the deflection. Got to be mentally tough if you're Nevada. Too many balls are getting scraped on. Too many hands. And look for the mismatch. Shaw is down low. Joey Shaw from the baseline. Hunt tips it up. Wesley comes away with the defensive rebound. <laughs> Look at Bendel coming up the court. He's given everything he has. All of these guys are sitting there sucking wind. They've earned it. They're going to earn a good Gatorade after this game. Utah State will remind you, they'll go eight, nine deep on the bench. Coach Carter in Nevada, they go seven. And that's about the extent of it. Well, this is the mental tough part right here. Who wants it the most? Who can execute when you're playing through being tired? This is Wesley with his back to the basket. Goes up. Babbitt comes over. Weak side help. Partially blocks the shot. And the ball goes back to the Wolfpack. 2.47 to play. Utah State still on top by three. Got a driving lane. Johnson drives. That shot is partially blocked, but it stays with Nevada. Well, both teams are tired right now. It's the one that can give that little bit of extra, a little extra, and stay focused because you've got the excuse that you've given everything you have, but the shots are not as sharp. The offense is not as crisp. This is Babbitt. Drives across the lane, goes up. He's fouled. To knock down these free throws. Ty Wesley called for the foul. So he one of the best guys that was in shape, Stevie Thompson from Syracuse. That's built a lot like Amon Johnson. It's like he had three lungs. Never got tired. He and Michael Jordan. Two minutes to play. Aggies on top by one. Williams tries to go down to Wesley, and Wesley's lucky he wasn't called for a foul as that pass was partially deflected. Well, that, that, that was a lazy pass. That was a tired pass. You wouldn't make that pass typically, but again, you're just playing on willpower now. Who can stay mentally focused? Key in. This is a huge possession. Johnson being guarded closely by Pooh Williams. Turns, fades. Hunt somehow comes up with a rebound amid three Aggies down below the rim. If you got to put someone on the line, he's the guy you want if you're an Aggies fan. And you still want to stay focused and disciplined right here. Huge shot. It's tied up. 127 to play here in Reno in this WAC Conference Wednesday night hoop spectacular as part of Conference Tip-Off Week. Todd Harris along with Adrian Branch. Glad you're joining us. Quayle will pull up for three and hits. Huge basket for Jared Quayle. The senior from Perry, Utah, gives the Aggies a three-point lead again. One minute. Babbitt kicks it out. Fields open for three. Bendall with the rebound. And they'll get Babbitt in the backcourt with a foul. Clutches this though. Absolutely. And he comes off raising up a huge shot for him. They've got the lead now. Stayed at the line. Bendall, the first of a one and one, and he hits that. And he does push the lead to four. Can he make it five? State for their ability to hit the free throws. 
And Bendall hits both of his, so the lead goes to five. With awfully quiet now. Well, they got to go now and try to score quickly. Get a good shot and try to get to the free throw line. This is Babbitt. He'll pull up for three. Ball loose down below. And the smallest guy on the court comes away with it. Jared Quayle with another huge play. And Pooh Williams comes back with the emphatic dunk as Nevada was caught napping on the transition defense. Very good defense by Utah State and the ability to get out and run. They take advantage of the missed shots. Fields shoots, misses. Newbold with the rebound. And with under 20 seconds to play, the Aggies can just play keep away as you send them to the line, and it's almost money. How about Utah State hanging tough, coming into overtime, and taking advantage of their opportunities for a huge win? And that is it. Utah State comes back to get the win at the Lawler Event Center in Reno. So the last time these teams played, a NCAA berth was on the line in the WAC Conference Tournament, and the Aggies got the victory by 10. Tonight, they get the victory by 7 points in overtime.